I'm not sure about you, but over these past few years, I've felt this immense pressure to constantly do more and be more. It's driven by this involuntary yet constant comparison I'm making between my own life versus what I see when scrolling Instagram or TikTok. And I'm trying to break that cycle. In a world where our lives are increasingly lived online, it's easy to get caught up in the endless scroll of other people's achievements, lifestyles, and seemingly perfect moments. We see the highlights of their journey, and without even realizing it, start measuring our own self-worth against this carefully curated feed. It's like we're in this race, running on a treadmill of expectations that never slows down. We end up chasing a version of success that might not even align with our true selves. That feeling of not living up to some invisible standard, it's a heavy burden to carry. But the truth is, what we see on social media is just a fraction of someone else's reality, often polished and filtered to perfection. And I contribute to it for sure. A highlight reel is fun. I love being able to share my 1% the most magical moments I experience with my camera from around the world. But it's not lost on me that there's another 99% that's maybe not as conventionally beautiful or aspirational, yet we all experience it. Most days don't unfold on mountaintops or distant paradises. They look more like the ebb and flow of everyday life, like finding comfort in your morning espresso or secretly yearning to leave the dishes for later. There can be a beauty in laundering taxes. Life, in all of its facets, is a journey worth celebrating. Not just the high points, but the tapestry woven from the threads of the everyday. So here's to the other 99%, the art of your everyday, sometimes boring, yet beautiful life. <laughs>